In this video tutorial, we're going to cover how to quickly get started with the use of the Educate platform in your STEMFUSE curriculum. To begin, you're going to log in with your teacher credentials, and here you'll see the teacher dashboard. It's going to give you an idea of all of your courses, classes, recent student activities and assignments, and so much more. To begin, let's take a look at how to access the available courses to you made available through your school. On the left hand side here under available courses, those are all the courses that your school has purchased that you are able to create classes with. You'll also see any review courses or resources such as the Getting Started with Educate mini course located in this section as well. Now let's go ahead and get started and create a class. To do that, all we're going to do is click the create class link on our dashboard. Creating a class is really quick and simple. All you're going to do is give your class a title, a description, select one of our illustrations from the thumbnail library, and select the course from the drop-down list that you want to use to populate the class. So we're going to go ahead and complete these fields. Once you're done, all you're going to do is click the Create Class and Manage Course button. Now that the class has been created, you'll see that there are a couple tabs here. We have the Class tab, the Manage Course tab, and the Members tab. You'll default to the Manage Course tab view, which allows you to select and deselect all the items within the class that you want to make available or hide from your students. We'll loop back to this step because next we are going to add members to our class. To get started with that, click on the Members tab. There are several ways that we can add members to our class and educate. The fastest way, though, is to use the Import Students method, and that's the one we're going to go through now. So to do that, you'll click on the Import Students link located right here. As you can see, there's some basic directions written out, but it's as simple as downloading the CSV template to your device and opening it with whatever spreadsheet program you have on your device. The spreadsheet is quick and simple and looks like this. You'll complete the student's first name, last name, password, and optional email. This password is intended to be an initial password, so students can go in and update it after the fact, or you as the teacher can also go and update it later too. So once you have the student's first name, last name, and password set up, go ahead and save that file in the same format, the CSV to your device. Back in Educate, we're going to go down to the Upload section and browse for that file on our device. After we've located the file and added it into Educate, we'll see it listed here, and now it's as simple as clicking the Upload Users button. Now our students have been added to the class. Students are given a username by combining their first name and last name. If the student's name combination is a common name and ex already exists in our system, our system will add a couple numbers at the end of it to make it unique, as you can see here. So now that we've got our students in our class, let's go back to the Manage Course tab. Here in the Manage Course tab in the class, we'll be able to click and check or uncheck that item to show it or hide it from our students in the class. So if we don't want our students to see, for example, this unit, we would simply uncheck it from the list here. Here we have an example of an assignment. So let's go ahead and click on that settings button. Both assignments and quizzes will have these settings options where you can set the start date, the deadline, and time. And depending on the content type, you can allow for late submissions and update the amount of points that you want available for that particular activity or assignment. After you've made your changes, you can go ahead and click save and that's going to save that and the students in the class will be able to view those changes and deadlines in their accounts. If you make any changes to the course outline via the Manage Course tab, be sure to save it by simply scrolling to the bottom of the page and clicking Save Changes. A quick reminder that if you want students to be able to see an activity or a resource inside of a unit, the unit itself needs to be shown. And that's a quick overview on how to get started with your students and a class in Educate. Now, as a teacher, we want you to know that there is so much more you can do with the Educate platform, and we cover all of this in our Knowledge Library. To access the Knowledge Library, go to the Support menu item and click on Knowledge Library. Here you'll find all the tutorials you need to do everything from deleting a class, 
to assigning assignments, grading work, and accessing student quiz reports. So be sure to check out and filter and search by tag and category, as well as keywords in the search bar. If you have any questions, you can always submit a ticket to our support team. To do that, you can either click Create Ticket from the Knowledge Library or go directly to our Support Center by going to Support and clicking on Support Center. To create a ticket, it's really quick and simple. All you need to do is click that orange Create Ticket button. Here you'll be able to create a ticket by adding a subject, the type of issue, and then some optional fields such as the course, the material or content associated with the issue, as well as a description, and upload any attachments you may have to help us understand the issue to assist you better. Once you're ready to create that ticket, all you need to do is check the Terms and Agreement box and click Create. Once you create that ticket, our support team will receive a notification and answer your ticket in under 24 hours of its submission. Any additional activity on that ticket from our support team will be notified to you via this notifications menu. All general notifications related to class and student activity can be located via this icon here, as well as the recent activity section on your teacher dashboard. Thank you for tuning in to this quick start guide tutorial. Please be sure to check out our other tutorials and let us know if you have any questions in getting started with the Educate platform or any of your STEM Fuse courses.